Okay, so hello and welcome to the next episode of Cyber Potato, where I'll be refactoring our car game to use hooks. So what are hooks in React? Well, lately there uh, have been some changes regarding how we are managing the state in React. And don't worry, you can still use the old build this set state uh, for the time being, at least. But uh, the guys from React core team uh, developed a better way or maybe more scalable way to manage everything that is happening inside of our components. So this is basically where we left off with the, the game pretty much done. But I would like to introduce some changes and introduce you guys to how Hooks works. Uh, okay, so uh, to start with, let me create a new file and I'll call it card game board hooks uh, JS. Okay, and let me just for the time being copy everything and let me open that to the side so that we can have comparison. Okay, so what is the problem? The, the problem is uh, this word and uh, particularly using classes because this is just the synthetic sugar uh, above the uh, prototyping, uh, prototype inheritance in JavaScript. And also this word can cause a lot of confusion. Uh, especially uh, along the beginners that are trying to make their way uh, to the React world. So, mm, yeah, this world is problematic because this depends uh, on the context of the, of the function, basically the, the place where the function is being called. But you know what is not confusing at all? Functions, because they always work the same. So, uh, we will get rid of, well, almost everything and we'll move to use function here. So, this will be still cons card game board, board, but it will be a function uh, and it will return it will return this. Okay, so yeah. Uh, so correct. Almost, almost, almost. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Except the fact that stuff is missing. Well, pretty much everything that we had in our state is gone. But let's render it anyway and we'll see what actually we are missing here. So let me go to its app, yeah. And we'll just import this from Cargain board with hooks, okay? So this is still named the same, uh, but the file that we're importing from is different. So now everything should Crash and burn. Okay, as expected. Okay, yeah. So now we see what we're missing. We're missing the card image URL and the result. And we have to recreate it somehow. Okay, so um, let me start by creating the state. And now you're creating it using use state hook, which is only a function. And to be honest, it doesn't really concern itself with, with JSX or, or 
components, to be honest. It can be used outside of components, and I'll show that. But how does it work? So it's a function, and here you are passing initial state. Okay, and this can be an object or I believe a function. So I would like to initiate this state for my card, for the card that I am displaying. And for me, this is card value being null and card image URL also being null. Okay, now what? So the function is returning something to us, okay? And this is sta state array, okay? And uh, you say it is undefined, it should be fine, I defined it. Okay. And what is this exactly? So when you're calling use state, you will get a function, uh, an array, sorry, returned, okay? And this array is always composed of two elements. And this element is your state as an object, or to be more precise as the shape of something that you pass here, I pass an object, so this is an object, as you see, but if I would pass zero here, this will be a number, or if I would pass a string, this will be off string. So whatever I'm passing here, I'm getting back here, okay? I mean, regarding the type. And for the start, of course, the value, because this is like initiating our style, the state. So this part is like this, okay? And the second thing is set state function. And this is the function that I can use to modify this part of state. And of course, if I call it, uh, my state will be changed and as the old set state component will get re-rendered, okay? So, why is this an array? Well, if this would be an object, okay, I would be forced to use the names that are being returned from this object. I would have to maintain the proper keys or I could, the only thing that I could is rename them here. So it's like, uh, I don't know, card state and a set card state, okay? I would be forced to rename them this way. But since this is an array, I can call them however I want from the very start. And that's the reason this is an array, not the object. Okay, what else? Um, I have to maintain the information about deck ID, uh, but here I can kind of separate and differentiate because I don't really believe that the deck ID information is so closely attached to the information about the card itself. So I can just create another state. Not a problem. So this is, no, this is simply no. This is just one piece of information. And also the same goes for the result, okay? Result set result. Also use state no. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. This is nice. Um, so we got that part covered. Okay, 
let's go to the next function component mount so i would like to call something when the um, component is loading and this is some kind of side effect because i'm trying to fetch data from outside world and this can be done by using use effect okay so how do we use it uh, it's simply it's simple use effect takes a function to call okay and I would love to do something like this um, how do we, we do this deck ID value image is await create deck and row okay but wait this isn't right cannot use keyword await outside async okay that's not a problem i can just do async here and here's the problem here you can see the information effect callbacks are synchronous to prevent race conditions put the async function inside and i love that i have precise information about what i should do okay so let's change that a bit we won't call await directly in our effect what we'll do instead is we'll define a function here fetch card and deck is gonna be async function this is going to get deck id uh, value and image I can do a wait here then create deck and deck and row here okay um, and I can call that here fetch deck and card and deck okay still not good why is that so well because it's not async anymore okay okay so this is cool this is not defined but i can auto import it can i why is it undefined okay okay this is correct then so instead of calling the await directly here i'm creating and calling a function which is fine okay and now I'm going to call set card state state with a um, card value being a value card image relating image. Okay. And what else? And I'm going to call set deck ID. Is it a problem that I'm calling a uh, changing the state one after another here so i'm calling two functions to to modify the state no it's not because actually what will happen uh, inside of the react in the react engine those two updates will get batched into one update so this is fine this is fine but there's other thing that i have to specify here and this is an array of dependencies for use effect you see um, this array will decide whether to recall the effect or not for example if you have um, an effect that should call for different url uh, it will uh, it should re-trigger every time the url changes but simplify if you'd like use effect to only call once and behave kind of sort of a component did mount you specify an empty array an empty array here Whew. okay 
What else do we need? We need the function to handle the button click. So let's do just that. It's going to be on button click. What we know is going to be it's going to be async, same as here, but here we have some changes. Um, yeah. So this is target. Name is going to be renamed to bad. So same, same. Uh, and we can still withdraw the stuff. Value init will be away. We draw, draw, we draw card from deck. The draw card from deck. Sorry, draw card from deck. Okay, and we have deck ID because it's here. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, and then we'll do pretty much the same. So. Yeah, let's just do resolve this com compare values, okay? And here we have previous card value, and this is gonna be card value. And next card value, next card, but it's gonna be value because it's fresh and new and we have a bad here uh, and this is oh I don't have card value here but I can unpack it I can unpack it I should be able to unpack it yeah it's gonna be card in the URL and card value okay so this is fine this is fine and this is fine okay so now this doesn't exist well it does but it doesn't point to the right thing instead we use on button click that we defined here okay so this is great we have card image url do we need new image yes we do uh, because um, then we would like to set card uh, state Okay, and this should be um, this should be card image URL. It should be an image, and the value should be uh, card value. Card value should be a value. Okay, and of course we'd like to set the result, and this is gonna be just result. Uh, okay. Makes sense, looking good. We should, of course, do extra default. Uh, well, not that bad, let's just ask for default card import. Okay, so this is cool. And the question is the question is, does it work still? So, this is it. No, but why? I did something horribly wrong here. Let me see. Uh, this looks fine. This looks so. This is coming from deck ID. Oh, let's see what, what are we doing here with. So let's just do the bugger right here. And, okay, so, 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 this isn't important. Result is undefined, that's true. Image is five, that's fine and card value is three so those should be comparable uh, 
Uh, oh, there you are. Um, okay, that's the part right here. I will try again. So, this is fine. And this is current card value is undefined. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it's current card value. My bad. My bad. Okay, we can just remove this and remove this. So, yeah. This is how you debug stuff. Okay. So, this is, this is great. It's all nice and sweet. But there's one really cool thing about about using uh, state is that it's shareable uh, and it doesn't really concern itself with React, not so much. I can extract it. How? Let me just create a file and this file I'll call um, card game board dot state dot js. Okay. And let me take a look around here. So what does my card image URL, uh, what my JSX actually needs? And these are only three properties. Card image URL here, on button click here, here, and results here. As you can see, it never concerns itself with stuff like card value, okay? So, let me create something here and we'll call it use board game because why not? Okay? And this is a function and I use use word here. So this will be our custom hook. And we'll start by removing everything regarding state and moving it here. And we need to import use state from, yeah, import use state from React, like seriously import it. Do this stuff. This is where we break my heart. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. Now, we can also copy all this, okay? And we need a use effect. And we need to import our function. We don't need that two times. And this, I would love to get okay no means no and compare values should come from which is okay and now our function uh, our component needs card image url on button click and result and this is a function right yeah it is so at the very bottom can just return stuff that we need here. So let me return card image URL because it's needed on button click and result. Okay, and here I can just call use. Oh, let's of course we need to export it. Export use board game okay nothing to pass here but now i can unpack it card image url on button click and result okay and now this the whole shenanigans about how does work every little workaround uh, 
everything regarding the business logic, every callback is being encapsulated here. And my component isn't so bloated. It's easier to read. I just get some stuff from use board game and then I render JSX. And everything that is used here comes from my custom hook. Maybe it's not the, the best example. Yeah, it's not. Because it's not very re reusable. But you can see um, people creating reusable hooks like use navigation, use local storage, um, I don't know, use, use fetch, use axials, so forth and so on. But this is the way that you can extract your logic from your component and just move it to the file outside. And you'll see me using hooks pretty much for everything starting from now. I won't be using this set state anymore because in the future it, uh, it will be deprecated. It won't be, it won't be supported anymore. So yeah, I believe this is it. This is quick intro to hooks in React and happy coding. Bye.